Hey yo, welcome back everybody to the Thorium Let's Play slash playthrough throwing class edition, new update edition, something like that. Yeah, I have the whole wiki up here for uh, weapons that we can get. I completely missed the stone throwing spears, but I don't think they're that strong, so it doesn't matter too much. I don't even know how to craft them. Look at this, this is weird. Infinity allows us to make endless ocean throwing axe. I'm not going to touch that though. And we can finally make these to tomahawks. Is that how you say it? Tomahawks. Hey, I want to kill you actually. Because you dropped some more icy stuff. Here, I'm going to use the weapon. Okay, see, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Can you, you get the cactus needles when you like just walk up to him? Oh no, he must have dropped it. So I'm throwing more at him. But there's a lot of enemies spawning that I. This is something I've been noticing since, you know, the end of the last episode. There's a bunch of enemies constantly spawning. I need more stone. If I'm going to show off the javelins, the stone javelins, which is actually the number one first item you can get your hands on. But I think the cactus way easier to get your hands on. Can we just vein mine it? Let's just vein mine it. And then dig down a little bit. But boom, there you go. Got our hands on some stone, more stone. I'll fix that in the future, all right? When I do some terraforming, I'll fix it. Bro, why is there going to be zombies? Come on. Get out of here. I want to close my door. Okay. Place block. Boop. Place another block. Boop. All right. We are chilling now. Nice and safe. Known comfort of my home. Boom. Stone throwing spear. Requires wood to make. It's understandable. You know what else is going to be there in place for the shaft? You know, where you grab it. I, I, I feel like I'm saying some very sus things right now. But yeah. We'll test them out in a second. Let's go ahead. Let's smell our iron. And I think our goal is definitely going to be take on some boss bosses today. Uh, we got obviously three mini bosses from Juice Mod that we can't exactly take on until Pink Sword spawns. But Grand Thunderbird, Slime King, those are the goals today. 30 minutes? I could do that in 30 minutes, right? Or around that. It, the video doesn't exactly have to be 30 minutes, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, we'll probably make an arena, like right here, right next to us, obviously. Probably, oh my god. Probably going to be the best thing. The only problem is it's kind of nighttime right now, so uh, we don't have many choices in terms of, you know, things to do at this moment. At this current moment, there's not much to do. So let me just look up the recipe for this. So we just need four and one. Do I have any weapons that pierce? I don't think any of these weapons I currently have pierce, but I know the tomahawks. Tomahawks? Tomahawks? How do you pronounce them? I know the Tomahawks pierce. I read that on the uh, Discord that those pierce. So I might just use those. Let's get these bombs with us. We need to get like a magic storage thing set up like early. Just so I don't even have to worry about it. But yeah. Uh, Tomahawks, Tomahawks. Do I have the iron on me? Oh, it's in here. Yes, sir. I don't know how much it costs per. Where the hell is it? Boom. I'm assuming we have the higher damage one. Because we have lead and not iron. So this makes 100 per 2. That's not bad at all. Let's, let's go with 500. 500 sounds like a good number in terms of that. Let's go ahead. Let's make some torches. We got a good bit of slime. Oh, do I have any rubies? We need to go like mining. Like actual mining. There's a cave right here. Let's see if we can get to it. Coming through. Watch out. Stone spear is coming through. Hey, goddamn. That boy is eating my cheeks. Back up please all right we're chilling we made it good so i've read on the uh, discord too I, I just sit like afk on the discord like it's on my second monitor while i'm just i don't know watching a video and i saw some messages pop up about consume non-consumable throwing weapons and what i heard about non-consumable throwing weapons is they have a little something called like fit fatigue or some shit or energy where if you use them too many times the damage slowly goes down or something like that uh, which is very interesting it definitely uh forces you to have to use other weapons which i think is a cool thing and a bad thing at the same time i don't know force force things in general is, are, is never good but we'll see how it is when we get to it we'll see how the feature actually works maybe it's not as force as i think it is but at the same time i think it's really cool that especially as a thrower specifically as a thrower it is recommended to definitely use a wide variety of weapons uh, because 
There's a lot of weapons for certain situations when it comes to being a thrower. We got another rusty buckler, but this one. No reforge on both of them. To get this cobweb, I didn't mean to place torches. There we go. Some copper up there. I don't really know if we need copper. Yeah, I don't see any copper stuff on the the throwing weapons list. This list is huge now though. <laughs> I'm looking at it, this thing is the list is gigantic. Like there's some crazy stuff. Uh, let me, the Obsidian Striker is 100% the weapon I'm hyped to get the most. Did I say that right? And the most hyped to get? That weapon is what I'm hyped to get, mostly. <laughs> There's a trap right here. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's just a pot on top of stone. We probably should mine some stone, honestly. I don't know, I have vein miners, so I could mine like... A lot of stone in one second. But yeah, there's the Obsidian Striker. That's I'm really hyped for that. That's the bowling ball weapon. The bolas look really cool. I, I'm actually seeing like some of these sprites for the first time. Um, something called a Pod Bomb. I know that was in a uh, previous Thorium updates or in previous Thorium versions. I don't think I've ever touched it though. Was that out when I did the thrower playthrough? No clue. What am I doing? I could have just went down. Whatever. We'll go this way. So I'm down here looking for just gems, hopefully. Number one, gems. And uh, we'll, break, we'll break this down right here. Gems and gold. So we can make a crown. I don't know why I said that. It sounded like I put a question mark on that. Gold. But yeah, that's the other thing we're looking for. I don't know how, how much we need copper. So I honestly might not touch it at all. I'll take that. The only uh, throwing weapons that I know that are in chests, besides throwing knives, grenades, and shurikens. Are shurikens even in chests or are they in pots? They might be in pots. Uh, the only thing I know that are in chests from this new update are the... Where is it? Looking at the second monitor. <laughs> you guys can't see this. Where the fuck is it? I don't, okay, I can't find it. It's like the, uh, the magic knives or whatever the hell they're called. Enchanted knives? Something like that. Those are found in chests. I thought they were found in rocks. Luckily, they're not. I think it would have been cool if they were found in rocks. You know, they should have added in like a new rock that spawns in a decent amount. Because I think that's cooler than just finding them in a chest. But still, hopefully we find some of those. They are stackable instead of it just being one item. Oh, look at this. This is literally a mine shaft on top of a mine shaft. I guess that makes more sense. Did you guys ever know these are mine shafts? <laughs> This is mine shafts, right? Or mining outposts, something like that. Uh, never knew that for a while. I thought they were just like underground, underground places. I mean, I knew that for a while now, but like before, I I didn't know that. Say like a year, two years ago, I never knew that these were specifically mine shafts. It really weirded me out. I'm like, what kind of mine shafts are these? I don't know. I gotta cut the video soon because I had to make a video go live. <laughs> You know, I was uploading while recording this and I got to make the video go public. So give me one second. You know, the only thing I'm really worried about is missing like an accessory or something. Because I don't know any accessories. Like I said, I haven't done a thrower playthrough in a while. And specifically a thrower playthrough focusing on thorium. So hopefully we don't miss too much. I mean, it's fine to miss a throwing weapon here and there. For example, the stone javelins wouldn't have been the worst to miss. You know what I'm saying? I really don't want to miss an accessory or something, especially like a good accessory. That'd be really bad. But yeah, I don't see any goodies down here in terms of gems, but I am seeing a lot of ore, like a lot of platinum ore. Now we have a good stack of platinum ore already. What is that, 74? That's not bad. I need to make some houses, man. We need to make some houses. Our house, personally, is probably going to be like underground, like I said. We are a sort of a bug type of people. The horned ones. The horny ones. We'll, we'll go with that one. The horny ones are bug type of people. Now, there's only like two masks for me to choose from. For this uh, whole new race. Slash set of people. So, uh, bear with me with that. There's this mask from Juice and then there's the Cataclysm mask from thorium all right well i'm not seeing anything i think we should go top side just because it's daytime and i said we would be up here at daytime so let's put everything away 
that we can, put everything we can away. And then let's just, we got shurikens, keep those on me. Um, what else, what else do we need on us? We got grenades, keep those on us. Don't need that. Keep the regen on us. I think that's good. Why not keep the umbrella? Should be good. But yeah, let's set up to fight the Grand Thunderbird. Let's take our lead, boom, and then we gotta take the talons. Oh. Okay, I guess we're not fighting the Grand Thunderbird. <laughs> Do we have a star? Dude, we don't have a star. That means we can't do shit. This sucks. <laughs> we, literally, we literally can't do anything. The only thing we can do is King Slime. And that means, okay, you know what I'm going to do during the daytime? I'm going to I'm gonna make an arena. And I'm going to do this off camera so you guys get more like actual content. I have found it something interesting. I don't know why I made uh, Okay, don't talk about the sound I made. But we have found Pink Zor. Hanging with a couple of blue zords. I don't know what's going on here. They made like a, a cult or something. Let me just block off this side. And then place a torch right here. I think it would be smart in general if we just place a rope. Oh, fuck. I, how'd she get up here? Oh, calm down. I don't know if it's a she, a he, a shmi. I don't know. Let's go ahead. Let's use that. A shmi. That sounds like it's from like Dr. Seuss. <laughs> All right. Let's hop on the rope. Got a nice little chain of rope right here. And let's use our grenade. Grenade powers. You know, grenades I'm supposed to be saving for. That was a terrible grenade. Walk into it. Yes. Bless up. Thank you for walking into that. I don't know. Let's use the cow chops because the cow. Oh, the cow chops, they. What the fuck? The cow chops do inflict frostburn sometimes. And, you know, I need to, like, actually use some of these weapons. Once I run out of uh, these cactus things, the cactus needles, I think I'm going to be done using them. Uh, they're pretty weak. I think I prefer they throw faster than the throwing spears. Let's get that straight But in terms of damage they get, they hit a little bit lower even though they have the exact same Can awfully close there pink sword. even though they have the exact same damage output as uh, the throwing spear You know what I'm saying? They just they hit harder It just feels like they hit harder. Maybe it's a placebo. I don't know But I'll uh, throw some more of these cow chops down here because who knows when I'm actually gonna use cow chops at all this is gonna be the worst part of this is having to kill these guys let's use the shurikens let's not be greedy with our uh, resources here uh, i'm getting slapped around right here let's not be greedy with our resources and let's use the shurikens to our advantage now we do get a throwing weapon from killing pizor uh ooh, look at that we in these vanquisher medals which is dope because i'm really hyped for the tracker npc and his new quest quest format i guess but yeah we do stop running calm down uh we do get this the gooey glove oh it's a minus in damage anyway so i'm, I'm not gonna use it just because of that well wow, that actually really sucks that it has a minus in damage because i don't know i was gonna ask you guys like should i use it but uh i guess we're not using it now but i, I don't think i was gonna use it anyways i mean if i was i would just ask you guys but yeah i'm down here just looking for rubies why is there not like a sapphire crown i always feel like rubies are higher than sapphire but i always felt like you know they should be on the same level. Rubies, opposite of Sapphire. Uh, Pokemon, let's just start with that. Pokemon is a great game. S I don't know, so, you know, Ruby. I mean, if we're going by that theory, then shouldn't Emerald be one of the best? Because Emerald is the best third gen game. All right, we are here. I don't know what happened last time. I've had the game crash multiple times, and I think I figured out the issue. Oh my God, that was terrible. But yeah, I think I figured out the issue. I'm pretty sure it's just Louis AFK. If that isn't the issue, then I literally have no idea. But I've had the game crash two times, two, three times while fighting the Grand Thunderbird. And I know there's an issue with Thorium and Louis AFK currently. I don't know the exact issue. Oh my god, those don't go on platforms. Why don't those go on platforms? But yeah, um, hopefully it's fixed in the future. For now, I'm just going to disable Louis, Louis AFK. So if you're using my exact mod pack, recommend not to use it, obviously. But yeah, we're here. It's like 10 p.m uh obviously the episodes are a little bit disjointed because i plan to post this episode right after the second well not right after the day after the second one or the first one and uh obviously the crashing and i had a bunch of technical difficulties if you follow my twitter you would have saw that i tweeted that obviously those kind of stopped me from producing content and sometimes i just don't feel like it because like the game crashed a bunch of times if you guys listen to my mic carefully right now it might sound different 
that's because my mic does this thing randomly where the audio would, or the quality will just straight up drop and i don't know how to fix stuff like that i've tried to fix it i think I, actually i think i do know how to fix it but it's not as simple as just being like hey presto fix i have to fuck with a bunch of wires but yeah sorry if there's just times where i just don't upload like i try my best to do an upload every day but sometimes you know given if it's like i just straight up can't record something or if i'm busy that day you know there's not gonna be an upload plain and simple but I, don't worry i'll try my best i'm actually recording this post watching avengers endgame now, obviously i'm not gonna spoil anything i'm not a dickhead but yeah greatest movie ever that's all i'm gonna say about it we'll talk about i'll talk about it on a live stream or something but it is literally one of the best movies i've ever seen in my very short lifetime my 20 year 20 year old lifetime if you guys ever wonder how old i am uh i turned 21 september this year so i can legally drink and legally enter dave and busters because apparently the dave and busters by my house only allows people that are 21 but i've had a lot of friends and i know a lot of people that got in there when they weren't 21 but whatever dave and busters i see how it is uh but yeah it's a great movie plain and simple that's all i'm gonna say about it i loved it uh i'm not on no pussy shit but i've never had a movie make me cry like tears of joy like i was legit crying tears of joy there was a scene in there that just made me just tear up with tears of joy it was so fucking awesome but yeah uh grand thunderbird is dead i don't know what else we'll do this episode i kind of want to just get this episode off have i not even explored the left or the right what the hell <laughs> i've never explored the left or the right all right so the main reason i could have found another one but i don't know if i had enough throwing knives but yeah the main reason we fought we killed the grand, grand uh, thunderbird obviously was before the where is it what are all these like outfits of wild antlers wild robes fucking wild pants this right here shadow stone ingots the this worm is following me and we're not even in the biome anymore i might disable this enemy honestly uh the sandstone ingots obviously if you know thorium and have played with it before especially the throwing class you would know that this sandstone helmet affects the throwing class and it's the first armor set you can get from thorium and i asked on the discord I'm like is sandstone still the first throwing armor set and someone said if you don't consider the ninja set a throwing set i don't know if they know their own boss progression especially on you know boss progression list but grand thunderbirds before slime king so i don't know maybe like one of the people in there didn't know what the progression was but they, they told me that if i don't consider the ninja set a throwing set then yes this set is the first set so we're just gonna consider consider the first set I'm stuttering. You can tell that I'm shook it. Literally shook after watching Endgame. It was so good. I'm sorry. All right, let's make this set. Hopefully, we can actually make all of it. Yes. Bless up. Perfectly enough. So, yeah, our first armor set. Boom. Bop. Pow. Pow. 20 defense. I don't know how much defense we have before, if I'm being honest. Desert winds will augment your boots, giving you a double jump. So, sweet. We get a free double jump, which is very good early game. Uh, the only thing is, I hope I remember that I have this, or that this is a set bonus and not an actual thing. Because obviously, when we upgrade our set to the ninja, if we even do, because I don't know if the ninja is better or not. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a problem, and thus we're not, we're not going to have a double jump. So we're going to need to get one. But yeah, I need to set up a base or something. There's some off-camera work I need to get done. I will definitely do that eventually i don't know i kind of want to just get this episode off i plan to fight the slime king and the grand thunderbird again in this episode but like i said i had technical difficulties so i was not able to do those things in a timely manner in the time i wanted to get it done but yeah i think we're gonna end this episode off here uh is there anything else i need to check no these are materials what are the materials for uh, let's check what our character looks like though it looks okay oh it's okay i'll put this away probably he looks okay though i like him in the purple robes of the shinobi stuff why it is i guess it makes sense that it goes there but it just replaced my set there you go yeah i'm in this episode off here i'll see you guys in the next episode next episode will actually be long i'm like i said i'm sorry for this one being short technical difficulties i couldn't control them at all i'll see y'all next time adventure set game go watch it. it's a good movie like really good